Okay, I'm going to quickly talk about um, how to link two cells in Excel and have them be bidirectional. So what do we mean by bidirectional? So if I hit enter, uh, equals and clicked on this cell here, whenever I update this cell right here, this one would change. But if I was to come down here and enter something here, it wouldn't change this one. It's because it's only one direction. Whenever I update this, this will update, but not the other way around. So when we want it to be bidirectional, we want it to be um, also the other way around. So if I was to enter something down here, it would update this. If I was to enter something here, it would update this. So this is the code, the VBA code we're going to use to do that. So to explain. So I've set up uh, the first input is right here on the sheet, and the second one is going to be on this sheet right here. And we'll get to the third one in a minute. Uh, but we're going to ignore that for right now. So to walk through this code here, we're going to have to put this code on both of the uh, VBA sheets. And what this says is, uh, if intersect, uh, so it's saying if, it can be read as if these two things are the same. Uh, the target cell, so when we say the target cell, we mean means the thing we're updating. So if I was to enter, click on this and enter 44 here, the target on this would be D10. And then uh, comma is the other one. And then the range, uh, we're going to put input cell 1. So we're saying whatever cell we want it to um, uh, update. So um, D6. So we only want this to run when we're updating D6. If we're updating something else, we don't want it to run. So if these are the same, uh, or if these are not the same, excuse me, then don't do anything. So if we're out here entering something down here, we don't want this to run. But if these are the same, so if we click on this and we update this, then we want um, this bit of code to run. So uh, the code we want to run is right here. And what this is saying is, um, these are these are linking the two together. It's changing the other one. So in this situation, our other cell is on sheet two. So it automatically assumes that every cell we enter or we, we clarify or specify is with the range and then the input one cell. It's assuming everything is on sheet one. So if it's on sheet two or no sheet, we have to clarify that by putting sheet two in front of it. So that's what we've done here. So to walk through how this works here, uh, we're going to click on sheet one. And I already got typed in here. I'm going to erase that, though. So we're going to come up here to this first box. We're going to click on worksheet. And we're going to come over here to this right box. And we're going to click change. That's going to put two here. We want worksheet change, not worksheet selection change. So we're going to delete that. So to begin, we're going to begin with this if statement here. And so we're going to type that in. If intersect, if the, uh, the target cell and the, and the cell of, in this case, we want it to be D6. Is not the same. Then and we're not going to specify anything, and so it won't do anything. Else, and then we're going to end if. If they are the same, then we want it to, we're going to, first we're going to wrap this in an application.enable events, and what this will do is it'll prevent it from getting into an infinite loop. Then in between these, we're going to enter. So first thing we need to ask is what cell, what is the other cell that we want to change? So we want to change 
cell D6 as well, but it's on sheet 2. So we want this to update cell D6 on, on every sheet. So sheet 2 dot range D6 It's going to equal be the same as it's going to change to whatever this value is in D6 on sheet 1. So now I'm going to copy this and place this into sheet 2 as well. And now all I'm going to have to update is sheet 1 here. So if we come here and hit 88 into that one, we should see this one is 88, and then 97, and that's updated to 97. So let's say I had another input here, an input 3. I want all of these to update, right? So in that case, we're going to come over here, and we're going to have to add to these codes. So right in here, I'm going to say I also want cell D9 in sheet 2 to update and be the same as D6. And on sheet 2, we're going to say update D9 on the sheet with D6 on the sheet and then we're going to copy and paste this if statement below the end if and this is going to be for the d9 so we're going to come up here and change d6 to d9 this top one is what um, the cell is that we're, we're entering into and that is going to be the same as the far right value on these down here. So D9. For this, all we got to do is update D6. So now I'm going to give this a try. I'm going to enter 12. You can see that updated to 12. That updated to 12 as well. So uh, that's going to do it for this one. Um, I think it's a pretty powerful tool. Uh, I know uh, if you have big big files or you have a lot of data on different sheets that are being pulled from something on one sheet, it can be useful to, to have um, these, in, these imputable cells uh, linked together so that you don't have to flip back and forth between sheets or scroll up and down. Uh, the one thing I would warn is that if you're still editing the cells, so if I were to, let's say I was to enter two lines right here, right? That's going to mess it up because now this is D8. It's not going to automatically update the VBA. So if I were to come here and do 88, it's not going to run that code because it's not D6. So that's one thing you got to be careful about. Uh, if you, you can't update these things when you do this, and if you do update it, you got to come into the VBA and make sure that you update uh, the code accordingly. But um, Yep, that's pretty much it. I uh, hope that helps.